What's up, everybody? No Kisser back here for your video today. You got three videos coming. You have the It Was Always You movie review, the Hallmark, the Hallmark ranking for the February films. We also got the Golden Globe reactions. Boy, do we got a lot to talk about with those. This is It Was Always You, starring Aaron Krakow and Tyler Hines. Elizabeth, played by Aaron, Aaron Krakow. Her, her, her engagement plans go into disarray when her fiancé's brother returns home and his influence, his unexpected influence, prompts her to question her life decisions, including her engagement to her fiancé. Elizabeth knew, knew David a while ago and ha has, hasn't seen him for years and years and years. They didn't get, get along whatsoever. Now, does this film make up for all of the... Okay, Hallmark films that we've gotten this year. I believe so. Yes, it did. This film was charming. It was funny. It was cute. It was everything I want in a Hallmark movie. Now, is this going to be on my top of the year list? I believe it will be. This is my highest ranked Hallmark movie so, ye so, so year. So far this year, this film is better than a, a great majority, a great majority of la last year's films. We, we, we kind of had a weak year until we got to the Christmas films, but we did have a bunch of really good films. This movie is getting the the highest grade uh, that I, I I believe I've given since Christmas Waltz, and that's, that's back in, like, November. So, uh, I really don't think, in, 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 in regards to Hallmark movies, my, my highest grade in regards to Hallmark movies, it was always you has great chemistry between between the two stars. Two or three, four lines that really do work. And in the Hallmark groups, let me tell you what. The people were loving the Tyler Hines lines at the end of this movie. We heard him at at the beginning when uh he's he he's he's not a romantic guy. So she 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 asked him what what would you say to be romantic? So he he says what he says. I am not go going to say it. Be, be basically because one, this film really does work. Now, does this poster look like a Harlequin novel? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. But is that what I want in a Hallmark movie? I want a romantic story that, that really does work, but this film doesn't have a flaw with it. I don't think it has a flaw with it. This movie works on all levels. I didn't notice any ADRing issues. I love the chemistry between between the two stars. I like both performances. Now, are they Oscar worthy? Of course not. Of course they're not Oscar worthy. But this is a really darn good film, a very good Hallmark film that I am going to give an A. I really did enjoy it. It it, it was always you. I can't get it to an A plus. I am saving that for one, two, maybe even three. But upon a rewatch, which will be happening this year, once we get closer to the end of of the year, I'll I'll probably watch this two or three more times. Uh, and I'm hoping that, that this does get a DVD release. I do know that last week's probably isn't because it, it only got 1.87 million viewers. This one is probably going to get 2.2, 2.3 maybe. Maybe close to 2.5. Or maybe I, I'm underestimating this film. Because it does have Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Krako. And she is a Hallmark darling right now. Basically because she has One Calls a Heart on. And that got 3 million views last weekend for its season premiere. This film is magnificent. I really did enjoy it. Let's get into the February Hallmark ranking, and I will see all of you guys for that video and the Golden Globes up next.